So we got some more information about what happened on the set of Rust. Here's something that happened a few days ago. You had a worker helping close down the set because it looks like, well, they're not going to finish that movie. I don't know why they would at this point. You might as well just take the insurance hit and move on. I don't think it's a good idea to go back and finish this. And Alec Baldwin has kind of hinted to that himself and said, I don't think it's going to resume production. But a gentleman who was helping close the set down got his arm bitten by some poisonous spider, and it's looking like he's going to lose his arm. Now, what kind of messes with me is that they have a Just Giving fundraising page. Like, why isn't the film taking care of this? They don't have a link to it. Otherwise, I would put it in the description. I mean, poor guy's going to lose his arm. But apparently there is one. His name is Jason Miller. Maybe you can find it by just looking fundraising page. I don't know if you want to choose to look that up. Maybe I'll try and find it, put it in the description if I can. Uh, well, poor guy, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. But, you know, the decisions made for this movie, this movie's a curse. Okay, and the armor, I want to double back to her again because now more people are coming out against her despite claims by Alec Baldwin and other people from the crew that tried to say the, the, the set was safe. We have, now, we have now gotten more sources that the armor is an immature clown. Okay, look at this. So Russ gun crew was immature and horrified people on set report. Listen to some of these quotes from this article. Head armor Hannah Reed, 24, and the assistants, the assistants who worked with her on the Santa Fe set allegedly played with the weapons, left them leaning against their own bodies or propped up with the barrel in the ground. Sometimes while they played with their cell phones, a horrified source told Fox News. Like, aren't you supposed to be a little bit more safe with these? I, I would hope you would have more respect for them than to leave them laying around like that. But apparently that's what's going on. In fact, she didn't seem very she didn't seem very worried about taking hot guns from anybody. Listen to this. At another point, Reed was handed a gun as she sat on the ground playing with her phone and allegedly accepted the weapon and put it in her waistband without even looking up. The source told Fox. It's pretty unprofessional. Like they say right here, stuff like that just seemed unprofessional, and it does not create an atmosphere of safety or professionalism, the, for the source said. When you find out she's, she says her training came from her father, you think, oh, she's a hire because of her connections, which is funny because she said herself, oh, uh, I didn't want to learn from my father. I wouldn't learned it all from myself. Because if you don't remember, her father is a big armor in Hollywood. Uh, she did get the job based on her connection with him, but she claims he didn't teach her anything. Uh, she learned it all on her own. So, you know, maybe she should have talked to her father and got some training from him because this is a shit show. She's going to get manslaughter charges 100% for sure. Uh, I think as more stuff comes out, you've got her lawyers too making ridiculous claims again. And she don't know how it got in the dummy the dummy ammo box. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a big difference between blank and dummy ammo and live ammo. So it's like <laughs> how uh how do you not notice it? She's 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 in a shitload of trouble. Shitload of trouble. Now what's funny to me is how this is now becoming a political thing. You've got people like the former actress for Fresh Prince, the one who got fired, Janet Hubbard. She says that uh, maybe it was some some Trumpers that gave Baldwin the the stuff. Maybe it was them. Maybe they snuck it on there because they don't like him. So now you've got this stuff coming out. Uh, the orange man himself making a statement, because if you remember, um, <laughs> Alec Baldwin played him for years, pretty much his whole time he was in office. And uh, did an impression of him. And you know that he didn't like it. I'm pretty sure it probably pissed him off. So now he's coming out and trolling him. And uh, doing exactly what he wants to get is attention from this. 
and everyone's running from running with it and making articles on this. And uh, it's just funny how they fall for it. So now you've got his name attached to this. <laughs> Guy's good at getting press, and you got to give it to him. Donald Trump takes his revenge on Alec Baldwin, claims maybe he loaded it in rust accident. He said he's a trouble guy. There's something wrong with him. I've watched him for years. He just gets into fist fights with reporters, he said. He added he's a cuckoo bird. He's a nut job. And usually... When there's somebody like him, you know, in my opinion, he had something to do with it. <laughs> He's got a whole bunch of stuff he said. I'm not going to go over all of it. I just found it funny because, you know, he does this because, for one, he wants to take digs at Alec Baldwin because Alec Baldwin's been taking digs on him for years. And two, he knows that this is a hot story, and it is a hot story. So now his name's attached to it, and he got as you could expect, a bunch of people pissed that he did exactly what I just said, got attention for what he said. So now people are outraged that he suggested that Alec Baldwin uh, did what he did. I don't think it was intentional from Baldwin. I just think Baldwin's an idiot. I don't know if, if Trump really thinks that. I just I think he's just messing with Baldwin, which, you know, works in his advantage. But look, all these people are pissed off now. And of course, it's a bunch of people on Twitter mad because when aren't people on Twitter clowning around and, and making themselves look stupid? Uh, they're falling into exactly what... Uh, <laughs> they're falling into the trap that he set, as they usually do. As they usually do. So, kind of funny. Alec Baldwin... Of course, now urging Hollywood to employ police officers on film and TV sets that use real or fake firearms. I don't know how that would have fixed anything. I mean, what, are, they, are we now going to have taxpayers pay for police presence on Hollywood sets? Why don't you just, instead of, I don't know, here's a crazy idea, because it turns out that armor only got paid $8,000 for the shoot. Why don't maybe you spend more money and get more experienced people and people that aren't stupid idiots like uh, the people you hired before and not, you won't have these problems. Maybe you won't have these problems if you spend a proper budget on safety. That's an idea. And this is just another cost-cutting another cost-cutting idea. Because, oh, well, the taxpayers will pay for it now. No. Why don't you just up your, up your budgets for safety? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there, and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.